Well, and that approval leading to a mad rush at doctor's offices and pharmacies today as parents looking to get their hands or at least get their child arm in line for a shot. Jessica Rank joins us live from the health department tonight. And Jessica, the rollout of these vaccines didn't exactly go as planned. The sunset signals the end of a workday in the Hillcrest neighborhood. Inside the doors of Kavanaugh Pharmacy, it's the first time all day the team can relax. Earlier, things looked like this. Kavanaugh Pharmacy, can I help you? How many calls do you think you guys have taken today? Oh, I can't even count. Pace says the calls for vaccines started early Wednesday morning. The phone's been ringing off the hook, plus people coming in asking questions. But there were few answers. It's all kind of seemed to be, for us, a work in progress. Tuesday, the governor said vaccines for 5 to 11-year-olds would be ready as soon as the CDC gave the green light. But Wednesday morning, pharmacies were left empty-handed. I went into panic mode. Ashley Simmons has a 6 and 9-year-old. I started with our pediatrician, and then I called the Pulaski County Health Department and I called a couple different pharmacies immediately um, and none of them knew nothing. Ashley says she made over 10 calls before finally getting an appointment about 30 minutes away. We immediately drove to school, got the boys, went down to Saline County to Benton, got their shots. Back at Kavanaugh, they say it could be days before the vaccine is available. So what I'll tell parents is just try to be patient. But they assure when the shots do come in, they'll be enough to go in arms. And that was Jessica Rank reporting. The health department is working on distributing these vaccines, but it has to go through a few different channels. Right now, we know at least Conway and Saline County officers were able to give those vaccines out today. But again, for others, it could be a few days or maybe into next week.